I moved to Seoul, Korea in 2008 and at the time I wanted to find out about the obviously popular American TV show MASH and what I found out is that there's not actually that much available. I thought surely there must be a museum or some site or something to see but it turns out there's nothing. What I did find out is that actually here in Korea the show's not very well liked. Actually it's considered offensive and when I first heard that I didn't really believe it because I don't really remember negative depictions of Koreans in the show but I actually found a quote from one of the producers this morning, uh, Gene Reynolds, saying that yeah in fact they actually did just sort of stereotype Koreans all the time because it was kind of funny and uh, they could get away with it. So apparently there's some legitimacy to some of that anger. But this is a real place that Americans actually don't know about other than what they saw on television. So I'm going to go see what I can find out. What we can find out from the internet is that MASH was a real place. There was a 43rd MASH unit on the north side of Korea. It actually wasn't called the 4077, it was the 8055, and it was located on Camp Mosier, which remained an active base until 1979 when it was handed back to the Korean government and renamed Installation 1398. The movie and show was based on a book by Richard Hooker called MASH, a novel about three doctors. And just from looking around the internet and looking at people's commentary, it sounds like most people feel that the book and perhaps the show actually did a pretty reasonable job of replicating what actually happened out in that part of the world. So obviously there was a lot of death and sadness, but at the same time the doctors were actually bucking the rules and drinking and partying and cracking jokes to sort of liven things up and make their lives a little bit better. So how am I going to find Camp Mosier? Actually, it turns out it's not that hard to do, but let me start at the beginning by zooming out here on Google Earth. And you see here is Seoul, Korea on the east side of Asia, the Pacific Ocean away from the U.S. Seoul is located about two-thirds of the way up the peninsula and just below the 30th parallel, which was the original border between North and South Korea. Weijungbu is the site of Camp Mosier, or the original MASH. It's about 15 miles north of the city and about 20 miles from North Korea there in the upper northwest. North of Weijungbu, you can find the actual location I'm looking for. If you zoom in a little bit more closely, you see uh, what is or was Camp Mosier. Today is Installation 1398. There in the middle is a, a main camp and sort of directly below it you see a smaller camp which was actually the helipad and then to the lower left of the main camp you see some houses which has uh, one of the neighborhoods I want to find tomorrow. I know this is Camp Mosier because there are a bunch of photographs from 1970 and 1973 uh, available showing Camp Mosier from the air and when you look at this view here you see uh, a lower and an upper compound which was the main area and the helicopter area and you can find this on Google Earth today so obviously it's a pretty close match I'm going to look a little bit more closely to find out exactly where everything is here's some more photographs by Tom Cummings uh, another guy named Stan Malcolm has pictures up on the web showing what uh, things were like there in the 70s here's the helicopter pad the show's opening credits were actually filmed in California, but as you can see here, they did a pretty good job of depicting the actual landscape of the real MASH. Below is the lower compound that actually housed the MASH unit, and when the wounded arrived, they would have to run up the hill to the upper compound where the helicopters were landed to retrieve them. The biggest surprise is that Rosie's Bar was real, and it was there until 1979. It's apparently today converted to an apartment building Definitely tomorrow I need to go find where that is. So the 43rd MASH unit on the north side of Seoul was actually a real place. So like I said, finding Camp Mosier is actually not that hard, but Rosie's Bar may be a different story. I think I've got a plan. I mentioned before someone had actually visited the site in 2004. That was Seth Robson of Stars and Stripes magazine. And since then, now that I look again, there is a blog from someone named Cami in 2010 who also went to the site. Using both of their pictures and some of their commentary, I'm going to piece it back together. And actually, I emailed Seth Robson again a couple days ago, and he replied with some more information. So I think I've got my story together. Here's a picture of Rosie's Bar from 1973 from Stan Malcolm. It was actually a functioning bar at the time. 
Notice that there's a building below the Rosie's Bar sign that kind of juts out from the property line and pushes the sidewalk to the right. Cammy the blogger says that this phone booth is next to the alley you need to go down to find the bar. You can see the installation 1398 sign in the background about what looks like 50 or 70 meters away with a crosswalk in front of it. It turns out that Seth Robson also has the same phone booth in his picture from 2004. In another picture from Cammy, you can see that there are two crosswalks, one in the previous picture down by the main gate and another right by the phone booth that she says is where you go to find the bar. From Google Earth, you can see two crosswalks, one by the entrance to installation 1398 and the other down by the phone booth. This would be where you need to go to find Rosie's bar. Here's Seth Robson's picture from 2004. On the left is Rosie's bar, which is now being converted to an apartment building. Again, notice those same buildings in the background that jut out from the property line and push the sidewalk to the right. In the back, you see some trees. Going back to Google Earth, you follow that same alley I found before down to the end and you see a white roofed building, um, buildings that jut out from the property line, a sidewalk that jogs to the right with some trees in the background. So I think this is Rosie's bar and this is what I'll go find tomorrow. Here in Seoul I live just a couple hundred yards from the Han River in a neighborhood called Mapo and what I'm going to do is go down to the river and travel to the east until I hit one of the tributaries that goes all the way up to Weijungbu uninterrupted. It looks from Google Earth that about 95%, if not 99% of this is actually covered by a developed bike path, so maybe it's not too bad. It's about 26 miles. I'm going to try to do the whole round trip tomorrow, but I think there's definitely a reasonable chance that I fail and actually just take a taxi home once I get there. We'll find out tomorrow morning.